Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at inspection plans and the inspection notification frameworks. Let's go to Manage Project. The inspection plans are contained in the Inspection Plans tab. It's a web-based template based on an Excel sheet. The inspection notification framework is contained in the INF. It's worth remembering that the INF works in exactly the same way as the inspection plans. We'll look at the inspection plans tab. The first thing we'll do is enter a name for the inspection plan. When you've entered the name or the reference for the job, click outside the cell and automatically the name appears here in the top cell, Job Reference. We have all the headings here for this inspection plan. We just click in any of the cells, we can scroll over to the right hand side. So we've got preliminary inspection plan, stage, design certifier, sign certifier, fire. We've got certification here, priority, uh, hold or witness. Ancillary certification for design, yes or no, and certifier. Ancillary certification for construction, yes or no. The design team and subcontractor. We've got testing requirements here and we've got the on-site inspection section here. We can also add and delete roles. We look at the top two. Topography can be removed, party structures can be removed. And we're not going to do a total of the inspection so we can remove that as well. So on services, let's enter the design certifier. It can be a witness. Is there ancillary certification required? We simply click into the cell, it's either yes, no, so let's say it's yes. Is there ancillary construction certification required? If there is, we can click yes as well. Let's scroll across. Is there any testing requirements for this? No. And we'll enter a proposed date. So if you click into the cell, a little date picker comes up where you can easily check what dates. We'll go for the 29th of May. We can then actually enter the actual date as the job proceeds. It's at preliminary inspection plan stage. If we go down to excavations, we can delete some of the rows that we don't need. Reinforcement, it's a hold. Is ancillary design required? Yes. Is ancillary construction? Yes. Let's scroll across. Testing requirement? No. And we put in a proposed date and it's in early June. If we look at the foundation concrete, we will remove this row here. We look at the foundation of con concrete, we have design certifier here. It's a hold, it's got to be inspected. Is there ancillary required? Yes. Is there construction required? Yes. And we have a test cube here, so we can move along to here. So this is a testing requirement. It's yes, and it's cube test. So that's the cube test entered there. And the proposed date, again, we're going for around the 9th of June. And you can carry on and create an inspection plan all the way down. When you've finished, you can either produce an Excel copy of it or a PDF. If you click the PDF copy, what the software is doing is creating a PDF in the browser here. And here you can see the job reference at the top, the stages, and all the various stages all the way down. You can reduce or add to the template as you require. For instance, we can add a row. So a row, does add, a row is added underneath here. Again, we can remove that row if we like. We can also edit the text in here if we require. If we go to our docs section, we can see there's no sign of the inspection plan. If we click our refresh button, just remember that if something doesn't appear, just click the refresh button. And here we see that the inspection plan has appeared. Inspection plans, and we've got the date here as well and we can delete the document any document in the doc section so again we can click it and have a look at it here and there we have our inspection plan created in PDF format again as with all items in the doc section we can forward it to any of our stakeholders we've just got one contact here at the moment we've named this as the inspection plan we're going to forward it ask to confirm the email and the name of the document click submit again we return to project here so now I've checked my documents I've received the email so it's a document from the BCR website. It's called the inspection plan, as we've named it. We can view it here in the browser. And there we have a PDF view of our inspection plan. And we can, of course, download it onto the computer if we wish. So that's an overview of the inspection plans and the inspection notification frameworks in buildingcontrolregister.ie. Thank you.